Hey guys, Jim Grant here. And today we're taking a closer look at some of the muzzle devices that are less preferable for AR pistols. So a lot of videos out there will do these top 10, top three, top five, top however many videos describing, you know, list style, you know, five must have pistol grips, three must have iron sights, whatever the hell, right? But one thing that I noticed is a lot of them will shy away from saying, yeah, 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 don't, don't buy that. You don't want to alienate certain gun companies, certain accessory companies. But I feel like it's, uh, Kind of a big deal to know, especially when dealing with an AR pistol with a short barrel, like this seven and a half inch barreled AR pistol from IO Inc. That's right, <laughs> Inner Ordnance Arms. I'm actually voluntarily shooting one. And I wanted to see just how some of these muzzle devices out there stacked up to a standard A1 flash hider. Now you might be wondering, but wait Jim, most ARs these days come with an A2 flash hider. Why don't you have an A2 flash hider installed? Well, it's simple. I don't feel like having to index it every time I took it off and on. So. So I'm just gonna stick with an A1, and we're gonna use that as our metric for is the muzzle blast, is the flash worse than an A1? If it is, you should probably avoid it. So let's get our little standard here, our little metric for failure, and put a few rounds down range. This is 55 grain, full metal jacket from Winchester. Now it's not horrible, but it's also not great. Still, it's a little too blasty for my taste, and I think there are some better options out there, but let's see some of the worst ones. All right, first up is this muzzle device from Faxon. Now, have you ever heard of Faxon before? They make some phenomenal, phenomenal AR barrels as well as other firearm barrels, and their ARAC-21 is an amazing, amazing rifle that combines the reliability of an AK and a piston-driven platform with the modularity and the solid ergonomics of an AR-15. Uh, one of the muzzle devices that ships on ARAX is this little guy right here. It is a single port compensating muzzle device. It's really effective at reducing both muzzle rise and the amount of recoil impulse going back into the shooter's shoulder. It was designed at the minimum for a 16 inch barrel. And while it is still very effective at reducing recoil on a seven and a half inch barrel, it does have some side effects. Take a look. Now, if you watch, the muzzle's actually kicking down. It's so effective, it's pushing my muzzle down. That, and I'm getting the blast coming out of the side chambers directly in my face, and it's extraordinarily difficult to keep your eyes on the target, and in any sort of low light, no light situation, would be utterly blinding. But, it is really cool. And the heat coming off this thing is amazing. Now, don't get me wrong. It did sort of unindex itself there for a second. We are clear, and we are clear. Don't get me wrong, it's a tremendously effective muzzle device at its purpose, but certain muzzle devices like muzzle brakes and, and compensators don't particularly play well with super short barrels where the majority of the powder from the round is detonated outside the barrel as opposed to inside of the chamber. Awesome, which What's brings that? you to my second choice here. Now before I get to that, I'm sure some of you at home are thinking, this is a hit piece. This guy just doesn't like facts and arms or doesn't like X, Y, or Z company. It's not true. This next device is the Manticore Arms Afterburner. And if you've ever seen any of my, uh, any of my videos or seen any of the articles I've written for Firearm News, you know that I have the proverbial hard on for all sorts of Manticore Arms stuff. I think they make phenomenal, phenomenal gear. And the Afterburner is no exception, except it's not exactly great for short barrel rifles. Now, if you're wondering, what is the afterburner? So it's a linear compensator with interchangeable tips. The tips look like the nozzle off an F-14 Tomcat, and so that's you know, where the name came from. Now, it's tremendously effective on every AR I've ever tried it on, and it's actually bored out to nine millimeters if you wanna try it on something uh, a little smaller caliber, and it's good to go. So let's see how it runs with the compensating tip on the end with the same 55 grain 5.56 ammunition provided by Winchester. All right, let's see how she does. Now what's really amazing is how much heat I can feel coming back at my hand when I fire the weapon. It's actually really, really incredible. But this isn't necessarily a fair run down on this muzzle device. I mean, sure, it has the compensating tip on it. It's gonna be a little blasty. Fair enough. So I'm gonna clear this real fast. 
we are clear. This is a little warm. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to be really quick to not totally burn myself. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Now I do have a little oven mitt in the other area that is specifically designed for this kind of application, but I'm lazy and impatient. So I'm just gonna put this guy down the ground because it is a million degrees. And first we're gonna see what it looks like without any tip installed. You can see it works very well as a linear comp, pushing that blast outward. But it's very blasty still. So, we'll clear again. This time we'll install the flash hiding tip. Now this one's a little rough looking because during a three gun event, a few weeks ago, I made the mistake of dropping it out of my kit bag and I didn't realize it was missing for a few days. So I came back later on and was lucky to find it, but it's got a little bit of rust on it, but it's still just as functional. Now this, now this is the flash hiding tip. Let's see how this does by comparison. Still pretty blasty. Now it's not because the muzzle device doesn't really work, it's because it's a incredibly short barrel combined with a cartridge designed to be used originally from a 20 inch barrel and then later from a 16 inch barrel, when it's cut down to seven and a half inches, there's just so much propellant that's yet to be burned that it's burning so much of it outside of there, you're getting a very blasty effect. Now it may look extraordinarily violent, but there's almost no felt recoil whatsoever. So what could be worse than that? That was pretty blasty. Oh, sit tight, you're in for a treat. This next muzzle device is the Silencer Co. ASR. It is their quick detach flash hider system for their Saker series and ASR series of sound suppressors. Uh, it's, it's pretty bad, so brace yourself, all right? Man, that was blinding. It was so fast you didn't see it. I'm clearly messing with you. It's extraordinarily effective, right? It's not what I'm actually here to talk about. Instead, I wanted to show you the real culprit. It is an ASR mounted Silencer Co. Mad muzzle device. This guy is brutal. So we are clear, let me lock it open. For all you nannies out there that might be worried, visually inspected, it is clear. So, screws on clockwise, and then the ASR tension ring turns a few degrees and now it's on there. It looks really, really cool, right? Especially with these uh, low profile hand guards. You'll see what's so brutal about this. 55 grain, full metal jacket from Winchester. I can't see anything, it's amazing. It feels like somebody's opening an oven door right in front of my face every time I pull the trigger. But as you can see, almost no muzzle rise at all. So I'll shoot it like a handgun. One-handed. Zero recoil at all. But holy cow, it'll clear your sinuses, blind you and deafen everybody within 25 yards. It's extraordinarily blasty. A better solution? Well, using this same ASR mount and one of these handy dandy oven mitts you can you can pick up from Texas from silencer shop first take this blazing hot muzzle device off and then replace it with this Saker 762 sound suppressor from silencer co provided by silencer shop let's see if you can tell the difference Just a little bit better, huh? Absolutely remarkable, night and day. Now look, I get, this is kind of a ridiculous premise, but a lot of guys out there think, oh man, that little barrel, I better put something real aggressive on it, kind of curb that recoil. Well, first off, 5.56 five, has like zero recoil. And secondly, the shorter the barrel, the more aggressive the muzzle blast is gonna be. Any of you guys out there remember back in the day shooting the old Mosin M44 16 inch carbines can attest to the fact that it's damn near blinding and damn near deafening. It's not like a basketball sized explosion on the end. And while it's tremendously fun, don't get me wrong, it makes engaging targets or 
positively identifying targets next to impossible. Still, none of these muzzle devices today are actually bad per se. They're just really, really bad or way too aggressive at least on a pistol sized seven and a half inch barreled AR pistol. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more burst reviews.